So a quick about me. Uh, my name is Jerry Clark. Um, I am Clark Design Works. I'm basically just a guy that builds stuff. Built cars my whole life, rent out houses. Uh, basically like to build anything that's new and different. Stock stuff, I, I like and appreciate it, but I like to build stuff that's different. Uh, it's more my thing. Uh, the creative aspect is what I like the most. and I. 99% of the time work outside of my comfort zone and try and build stuff that I really don't know how to do. So this is another project just like that. Um, so, um, yeah, I've done a little bit of everything. Uh, I know lots of different things, a whole lot of nothing. Um, so it should be a bit of an adventure. Um, yeah, so this is going to be an aluminum project that I've never done before. I'm a steel guy. Uh, so this is a bit of a different animal for, for me, uh, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm always up for a challenge. Uh, a bunch of people asked me to uh, <laughs> do something like this. Uh, I just did a upholstery job and I do lots of different projects. I just did a full overhaul on my Volkswagen bus for the interior. Uh, first full interior I've ever done. I haven't even touched a sewing machine in 20, 25 years and it turned out pretty good. Anyway, I posted pictures all along the way and everybody seemed to like it. So um, a bunch of people suggested I do more like a video YouTube kind of thing. So anyways, um, I thought this was going to be an interesting build because it's unusual compared to the way most people build teardrops. Uh, so I figured I'd video it and I'll try my best. I'm no videographer and I'm certainly not the most, uh, I, I don't claim to know everything. Uh, <laughs> I don't, don't claim to know anything at all. I'm, but uh, this is how I'm going to build mine, uh, whether it's the right way or the wrong way, we'll see. Uh, but it's going to be an adventure and something different, and I hope you enjoy the build. Alright, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going for. A uh, trailer that's built like the new ones, except for looks old. Uh, these are some of the ideas for colors and that, but basically the idea is where we're leaning for uh, towards right now is this. 32 fenders, 32 bumper, 32 wheels, kind of uh, a trim that will be probably like a stainless and then like some sort of gold insert. Uh, kind of like the 57 Fords and stuff like that. I like that kind of trim style. So similar, something like that. Um, and this is kind of how we're going to do it. So what you've been watching is basically this main structure, which is the side wall. So that piece is this piece right here. So that's one inch, one inch, uh, one by one eighth inch wall tubing. And that'll be the entire side structure. But the floor structure is um, another part of that. So basically the floor structure um, consists of a three by three angle iron. Uh, and that meets up with a three by, or a three by a quarter flat bar on a flat. And then on edge, we have another three and a quarter, which creates this basically, like a, like a half an I-beam, like a, like a T. So, and then that's your, this would be your, your cross view. So that would be three inch here, your other angle there. Put it if you look like that. Um, so that, that's what it would look like as a cross view. So you have your three by three angle that meets up with your three, uh, three inch by quarter that goes across the floor for your braces. And then on those braces, it has uh, three and a quarter on edge. And then on top of that is uh, half inch to three quarter inch wood or some type of material. I haven't decided what I wanted was uh, not feasible. I wanted aluminum honeycomb and it's just too expensive. Uh, so probably end up with wood, but at least it's only interior and um, it can be sealed uh, well. 
because I'm trying to stay away from wood because the maintenance that comes with it, as anybody that knows, uh, water is probably the biggest problem with trailers. So I'm trying to keep this light and also trying to make it so it's basically impervious to water. So this is basically what it looks like. So you have your outside skin, you have your uh, one inch eighth wall tube wall, and then on the inside you have some sort of small veneer, like a eighth to a quarter kind of thing of either wood or a fiberglass material or a, another sheet of aluminum that's painted or textured or something. You have your floor and this is your uh, main bottom floor structure. And then on the, you know, for your hitch and stuff like that, it'll come on here and mount down below. This will also be skirted. Um, so to get uh, the basic idea of it, this is your basic structure if you were to look at it in a real cheap, cheesy way, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, so this is basically what we're doing is building the whole skeleton. Mine's going to be a little more complicated because most trailers, uh, st most things end with a 90 on a, on a car. They're most, most frames are like that. Problem is mine doesn't. My trailer comes up, up and around and it comes and does this. It goes to a point. So three inches from the end and three inches from basically where my curve starts, that's where my frame will go. So the end for the aluminum to sit, I'm gonna have to make an end and make an end. So basically this has something to land on and to seal on. So mine's a little bit more complicated because of the shape. Everything about this uh, is a little bit different than most people do. Uh, you'll very rarely ever, I have not seen one yet that actually has a curved door like this on an aluminum structure because when you're working with a hollow core, it's very difficult. Wood is no big deal. You cut it with a, you cut out a piece of plywood and you skin both sides. Uh, when you are using a tube frame, you can't do that. There is nothing there. It's all hollow except for where you put a bar. And when you put a bar, you have to make it and bend it. And it's, it's a totally different animal. So I have not actually seen one that wasn't wood that has a curved door yet. So this will be, uh, this whole project is a bit different, but you can see on here, like where that frame would end would be say right here. And then that frame would end right here. So I'll have to make this so this has somewhere to go. Uh, so it, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit interesting. And then on the bottom here, what it is, is uh, gonna be, I'm gonna have to skirt it because I wanted this about 10 inches ride height because I can only get up so high without notching the, the axle up, uh, which cuts into your sleeping space, uh, which you can't have. So I can only do what I'm gonna do because my, uh, my wheels are so tall, but I wanted white walls and I wanted wires. So, but uh, at the end of the day, the tires are a certain height to get that look. So uh, I could get, it looks like I'm gonna be around t uh, 12. So what I'll probably end up doing is skirting this with a, a two inch piece, which will actually work out quite well, I think. And then at the end, I'll taper it up. I don't want to add a lot of uh, distance at the end here because as you travel, it's not like a car that goes up and down. You get a lot more tip as you move it around. So this going up ramps and stuff like that could be a problem because it's behind the axle, so it tips. Uh, so I don't want it to rip the bottom off or anything like that traveling. Probably won't be an issue, but trying to be smart so the back one will probably taper up but basically that's the idea this is basically four by eight from here to here it's about 10 feet from there to there um yeah i mean there's many different things you could do this is just the look i want i could have uh, brought that most of them would be more like like this kind of shape which gives you a lot more room back here but i just this is the shape i love this is what we want we want to keep it light anyway so basically uh that's what we're gonna do. And then there'll be a door that's in here, which is a little, we'll leave that for another day. So this will have the hatch that comes here. But that's basically what we're trying to do.